Welcome, welcome back, everybody, to Despiria. Konnichiwa, minasan. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're all having a splendid day. We are back here in Sector 12. And, yeah, we fought some bosses, and we finally got our key card, the yellow cube. And so now I'm going into the locked section of this creepy facility. So I'm excited. Been uh, having a lot of fun with this uh, place. The uh, horror elements, you know, kicking in and it's just the mystery of this facility and the evil things they've been doing here. So far, it's been one of the more interesting parts of the game. Of course, it's locked. What's happened? Hey, sister. What do you think of me? My body, yeah. What's happened to my body? Uh, sorry, man. I can't really explain what's happened to your body. Something very bad. And of course he's scared as always. So it looks like maybe these are some more kids that were experimented on or whatever in this horrific place. And yeah, this is a pretty lousy room even for a cell. My goodness. Nothing here, huh? So this is probably where they held some of the other experimental individuals. Not sure if those doors can be unlocked. I don't think I've ever picked up a key. That one's locked too. It hurts. Yeah. I would say if I look like that, things would definitely be hurting. He wants his body back to the way it was. Sorry, man, I think you're beyond that. Yeah, I realize this game has a really good uh, you know, zombie design for the enemies. The uh, you know the androids and the zombies. Uh, really, really cool design. Very well done for a horror game. Yeah, the basic enemies aren't too bad. Surprised I didn't have to fight that other table looking boy with the eyes and the mouth. Looks like they muted, mutated him into a table since these rooms don't have tables in them. Okay, well that wasn't creepy at all. So, as always, I'm just looking around making sure I get everything. Looks like this is a dead-end section with a bunch of cells. But we'll have to see if uh, there's some items possibly in the cells. That's where I just was. Guess we'll try block one. Yep, some more cells. Some more creepy things, I'm sure. Ooh, 
boom, boom, boom. Yeah, lovely. He's making bug sound effects. Because he is a child fused with an insect. Yeah, definitely a lot of disturbing child abuse in this game, but that just like adds to the horror element, I guess. It's much more horrific, you know, when you're doing things to children. Definitely not something you should be doing at all, and it definitely makes it more horrific. Kids don't deserve anything like that, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty awful cells here. Can see inside, but it's locked. See, it's look like two doors are locked and one is open. And the other open ones always have some disturbing leftover experiment. And he wants me to kill me, as everybody else seems to be saying, finish me, I don't want to... Please, please, I don't want to live like this. So another bug mutation. Some kind of terrible smell. Oh, hey! That was definitely worth coming down here for. This kid was lucky enough to have a book in his room to read. Okay, so that's all of that section. Looks like we're gonna go around the corner and there's a couple rooms we haven't explored yet. And then we'll be done with this facility. I know I keep looking around, I'm just trying to be doubly sure I know where I'm going here. Since everything looks the same in this place. Okay, so down this hall it looks like there's two rooms. Left to explore. Just a blank wall there? Wait, what? Looks like on the map there's supposed to be a room there. But, um... Yeah, like I said, when I first picked up the map, the map is old. And so inaccurate. So maybe... Maybe there's a secret room there or something. And they boarded up the wall with concrete. It's a little strange, you know, it's showing that room on the map. It's a key room, but there's nothing there except for the... Wall. Whoa, there's something creepy. What's inside those packages? There's like body parts or something. So Alu is wondering, is this really, you know, what the church is up to? The uh, church organization and that dock person that we keep hearing of, you know, this is what they're doing. Goodness, that is disturbing, that's for sure. That's why I don't want to go to a meat processing facility. Because... They pretty much look like this. It's just chunks of animal flesh instead of people, parts. Ozomashi, yes, it's pretty horrific, Alua, that's for sure. 
And then down here, it looks like there's just a bunch of parts going to be destroyed or, you know, dumped into something. And there's some kind of thought pattern she's picking up here. Oh, there's that other kid. It's cold, Mama. I want to go home. Adam. So this is that one other kid that, you know, was unaccounted for that uh, the other kids told me to try to rescue him. So you can choose there if uh, you're his mama or just ignore it. I'm not sure if the choice makes a difference. I'm not his mama, but... But it looks like that's the end of Aram, what's left of him. What was left of him. Setsu ga kuryo, mama. See, this setsu person has been mentioned several times, like eating people or eating children or doing something. I don't know who that is. And there's no way for me to save, save him anymore. Well, at least I didn't have to fight that one. Can't really tell what's inside that conveyor belt, but it's rather disturbing. Nothing we can do. So yeah, we're getting too close to the truth. You know, Alu is finding out all this stuff that the church organization or whatever they are is doing. I think church is a bad kind of word for the organization because churches don't do this sort of thing. Unless you're like an occult, I suppose. An occult church? I don't know. So let's see, nothing else here. I'm really curious about this room that's on the map. But there's nothing here. I wonder if that's a secret or it's just, you know, the map is old and so that room doesn't exist anymore. They bordered it up. Okay, so I've come back to the main, uh, you know, facility. Here we are in the server room again. And uh, we finally fi find, uh, what's his name? Joachim. And he says thanks, you know, because originally he asked us to find all the kids and uh, free them from their pain and torture and suffering and of course that was free their sort of spirit soul whatever was remaining after their bodies were completely destroyed pretty much and then i guess uh alua absorbs you know the spirits after she does the mind battle or whatever it is you know the fights and so maybe uh they get you know, they can also be absorbed by something else more monstrous. Monstrous? Monstrous? Like that Setsu, whoever that is. So they'd rather be absorbed by Alua since she's uh, a nicer person. Some information about the headgear that that kid was wearing. Saying everybody was scared and afraid. You know, Alu was amazed that somebody would put these kids through such horrific, you know, experiences and experimentation. Mikaro, Solas, Adam. 
you know, they were the only ones that were alive the longest, I guess, out of all of the experiments. So they got a little bit more special treatment. Basically, he's telling us, you know, what's been going on in this facility. From what I can gather, you know, using the Spidia large doses to experiment and you know, making the soul and the mind so powerful that it becomes its own entity, pretty much, separate from the body, so that, uh, in a way, it's a form of immortality, I guess. He said Alam went crazy. You know, it was just too much for him. Setsu ate everybody whoever that is, absorb their souls or whatever. Or maybe that's somebody that ate their bodies and their souls, you know, kind of still remain. Or their consciousness. So yeah, this Spidia is nasty stuff. You do not want to mess with Despidia. This is a good time to say, don't do drugs, kids. Things like this will happen to you. So it looks like there's nothing that can be done. Um, he wants us to do the same thing that we've done to the other kids. You know, basically fight and what, eliminate his soul, get it absorbed or whatever wants us to do it quickly before he loses who he is. All right, hopefully the last of these children fights. doing these fights just because the kids uh, shouldn't have to fight these kids here. Fairly lengthy battle. We finished him off. Poor, poor guy. He leveled us up though. That was nice of him. So yeah, after checking out all those rooms and finding out, you know, Alam's fate, the last of the children, you know, he wanted us to find, come back here. You know, if you're playing this game, you might be lost, but you know, there's nothing to do but come back to the server room and have this fight. Ooh, and we get the system card key. Which allows us to open the secret block. So that must be the uh, kind of the main central door in this factory facility. She's a kind of bummed because she actually couldn't do anything for these children. That shows Alua is a pretty 
pretty good person. All right, we're going to use this uh, system card on the central door here and see what horrors await us. Oh, I've waited for you. Daddy, who's there? Dude, I knew it! It's that stupid spider tattoo guy who's either shirtless or wearing like a winter overcoat for some reason. So if you haven't been watching this series, uh, this is the guy that we fought in the subway a long time ago. Ve Razaford. Ve Razaford. Masaka. You are alive. That can't be. So the person that they keep calling Doc is this guy, it must be. It's Ve Razaford. See, I remember we killed him. I'm pretty sure his he melted into this terrible, creepy ooze thing from Indiana Jones. He sort of had the Indiana Jones body melting experience. You know, in the first chapter of this game. But I guess that was just his body, apparently. But he continues to exist as his uh, soul. So, you know, as we've seen, you know, in the game now, we've got the, uh, you know, actual physical body of people and then the soul version of everybody. So apparently we killed his body, but his soul remains. Dude, I just knew this guy was going to be like a super main villain. He just had that look to him, doing those experiments with like soul and emotion transfer onto the, uh, the poor androids. He was experimenting with that. Now he's, or he's been doing experiments with kids. And even though we've taken out his actual physical body, he's still still here to torture us. There we go. How do you like that? Usually that attack misses, but if you get confusion on the enemy, that buys you quite a few extra turns. How do you like that, Vey Rutherford? I'm not exactly sure how they mean uh, for his name to be in English. Because katakana is, you know, kind of debatable how exactly you want to spell or translate a name into English. It could be Razaford or Rathaford. His first name is Vey. Need to make sure to keep my guy's MP up here. I'm guessing this is going to be a pretty tough fight. Oh yeah, he's got more minions. I knew it. Right, I kill you again. I feel like Jafar from Aladdin. How many times do I have to kill you, boy? Just keep coming back. That's right. So he's impressed we have such a powerful mind. Alu is probably one of the strongest you know, in the church groups, but she, or in the church organization, but she has some serious uh, morals, at least. Not really interested in all this immoral stuff. So he was kind of getting, uh, what's the word? 
you know, asking about life and, you know, what is existence, blah, blah, blah. He was getting ethereal, contemplative. I don't know. I'm forgetting English. You know, it's weird. I've been in Japan so long that, you know, there's some, you know, if you don't use certain words for a long time, you actually, you know, kind of forget what they are and they don't come to mind, you know, so readily. The other day I, I saw a Peacock on TV. It was like a news show. And I could not remember that word for the life of me. It's like, what is that animal called? That's a p p penguin, right? Yeah, that's a penguin. I was like, no, that's not a penguin. It's got to start with a P. But yeah, the word Peacock just did not come to mind. I almost had to call somebody and say, hey, what is this animal in English? Because I cannot remember. It's not a penguin. Oh, this is uh, Spidia, apparently. So we're in this room that got a broken ladder. There looks like just a giant pool of Spidia. And I guess this Spidia, you know, liquid ooze stuff, whatever you want to call it, is able to, you know, give people ethereal forms, separate the mind and the body, and create a powerful mind and a mind only so the mind exists but the body does not hmm, I kind of expected more in this room but apparently it's just the surprise surprise Ve Razaford Razaford again hopefully that's the last we've seen of him So, you've finally done it. Hey, it's, uh, Raven. Is he a friend or foe? We still don't know. Fusakeruna! Don't be so angry. It's like, uh, he's, he's kind of been guiding you know, hinting where we should go next and that sort of thing, you know, to kind of get Alua to discover the truth for herself. Because you know, he's saying it's all the church is doing. And, uh, of course, she was a devout, you know, person of the church, working for the church, and she was raised by Cess, if you remember, from the church, sort of her mentor, so she's deeply ingrained, you know, in the church. And so it's hard for her to believe that the church is doing all these awful things. Eden ni ikunda alua. So we need to go to Eden next. So yeah, he's kind of telling us, you know, where to go so that we can, you know, find the truth for ourselves about what's going on. And then Alua can, you know, make a choice. Razaro. So we need to find Razaro and we have to go to this place called Eden. Vector Razaro. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I've been noticing this game has a lot of religious names. You know, you've got Jehoiakim for like, you know, Jehoiakim from the Bible. Different pronunciation. Originally the J is, you know, Yo in Spanish or so it's Jehoiakim. And then Eden. Eden is straight up a biblical, you know, term, the Garden of Eden. Uh, Jehoiakim, you also have Adam, which may be Adam, I don't know. And um, let's see, who else? There was, a there was a couple others. Like the children's names were uh, very biblical-based names. So uh, kind of a recap here, and she's... Uh, She's starting to question the church, what they're doing. And, you know, the, the church that she knows is completely different. Because, of course, you know, the truth is being hidden from her. And are probably a lot of people that work there. But, uh, you know, this raven guy is trying to show her the truth 
apparently we're not supposed to go to Eden. It's one of those off-limit places by the church, so if we go there, we're going to be in trouble, but hey, we're going to go there anyway. Because that's how Alua rolls. We're going to find the truth. This evil church conspiracy. All right, looks like a new chapter. Eden. 8.16 p.m. Uh-oh, the church is pretty upset with us. Alua Valentine is doing some things she's not supposed to be doing. So I'm not sure who's talking right now. You know, one of the bad guys behind the scenes. You know, what she's discovered in South Central and, and Breaktown and Center 12. So they're, they're upset that I'm getting too close to the truth. And she needs to be stopped. Alright, so now we got the church against us as well. Wonderful. But that's okay, they're pretty evil, so bring it on. I'll take them all on. Kind of a recap of what we've been doing. You know, what happened to Cess uh, in the sewers and some stuff with the chi the children. And she cannot be forgiven. What? That's my line, man. You guys can't be forgiven for what you've done. Even though she, like, is the church's, you know, key player because she's so powerful of a mind user now. They're going to be after us, apparently. No more of those uh, spandex police saying, Good job, Alua, on your mission. Now uh, they're going to be against us. Because they don't want us to know the truth, apparently. And the truth looks pretty nasty. So they're just doing kind of some recap uh, stuff there in the Japanese and you know, so showing the previous areas that I visited, some of the information I gathered and some of the things I had been doing. Uh, it should be soon. Since talking to him, that girl, Alua, should be arriving. Girl, why are you saying it like that? Well, she's a woman, right? It's like, Io, you're not supposed to say it like that. Is it tiny? Okashika. Is it strange? Yes, it's strange. Musume nante you know, otou san ya oka san ga yogu. So a mother and father, you know, calls somebody there. He's using the kanji there for daughter. So he's like, soon the daughter will arrive. So I don't know, these two characters seem to be people we're going to have to fight, maybe. She keeps saying, Ew, you're strange. He seems to be more like a calm and collected person. Very uh, emotionless. Prospero sensei. So apparently they know that I'm coming or that my arrival is going to be soon. So hopefully they're not going to set a trap for us. But apparently these two are in Eden. And 
and they must be important to the story. <laughs> she's she's a pretty whiny whiny person and he is like all serious collected. The hospital you cannot return from. So I'll mostly they're doing a little bit of conversation about the new area here. Kind of giving you, the player, you know, kind of information as coming into this Eden area. It's like, what should we do about this Alua person? We'll just observe her for a while and see what interesting things pop up. Shizukani ne, very quietly. Sorry, kid, I'm on to you. I am so ready for you now. Okay, so this is Eden. Apparently, a somewhat forbidden area. Probably because the uh, church, you know, knows what's going on, and we've got some things here they don't want us to see. Although honestly it looks pretty dumpy. Why would I want to come here? And why does it say Hershey's up on that sign? So I'm just going to go ahead and look around here, make sure, see what I can interact with and see what I can't. But yeah, this video has gone on for a little while here, so I'll see if I can yeah here we go there's a save spot here she knows who I am Alua Valentine so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save my game here guys and in the next episode we'll go ahead and start exploring this Eden area I think this is you know we're getting close to the last area in the game I think this is it or there might be one more I don't know but we're definitely getting close to the end so we'll have to see what happens in the next one. Thank you all for joining me. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next exciting episode of Despiria. Jaminasan, san, matane.